Mm. Really? Uh, I never imagined I'd be working with all these actors all in the one movie. I mean, I think it's one of the greatest ensembles, certain, certainly modern ensembles that Chris has put together. But that just shows you, you know, everybody wants to work with Chris, you know, and these, these actors will turn up um, because they, they love his movies, they love his writing, and, and he's an incredible director. So, yeah, it was a gift for me every day. And also, you know, when, when, you, when you wake up and you're, you know, one day you're doing a scene with Matt Damon, one day you're doing a scene with, you know, Ken Branner or Emily Blunt or, you know, Gary Oldman, you know, you just, uh, it's kind of electrifying and you just gotta, you gotta turn up the volume on your own performance a little bit, I think, you know? Well, the way Chris works, you know, there's no video village or monitors or anything like that. And obviously it's film cameras, so there's, you don't see any playback. The first frame of the movie that I saw was the first trailer. Uh, um, and then when I finally got to see the finished film, it was, it was completely, completely overwhelming. Um, but I, but because there, was, there had been a gap between you know wrapping the movie and watching it, I suppose I had some distance. No, I, and to answer your question, I, I know I, I hate looking at myself. I don't really know any actor that enjoys the experience. But um, I found it. I, I was completely blown away by it. Uh, you know, it's it's a truly essential cinematic immersive experience. Uh, you know. Um, like Chris said, it's like it's like three D without the three D glasses, you know, particularly in an IMAX, and and I and I and I felt that. I would like to watch it maybe once more with a with an audience. For me, it's the best way to experience a film is you know in a in a in a darkened space with strangers, and you know you you just there's no interruption, you know you're 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 not going to answer the door, you're not going to make a cup of tea, you're just you're you're invested and you paid your money, you got your snacks and you're there and uh, uh, there's something hugely romantic about it to me, uh, there, al there always will be. And I think what's extra special about this film is it's talking about the world. You know, it's really digging at, at uh, what it means to be humans and our responsibility as humans on this planet and how what we do with the power that we can harness and, and in this case, you know, this, this extraordinary and destructive and appalling weapon and you know it, it, it's amazing and you know I think it was Truffaut said you know we go to films to escape from life but also to learn about life and I think this is one of those great films it does that it entertains and it's incredibly entertaining but it's also you know it makes it makes you think well I think he's kind of the ideal director Right, because he's, he, he, he writes his movies, he directs the movies, he produces the movies. Uh, he's incredible visually. Um, and he is extraordinary with actors. And it's very few directors have all those uh, talents in, in, in one person. Um, have, I, have I seen him change over the course of working with him? I guess he's become more and more confident in the sorts of stories that he to, that he wants to tell, and I think he's more and more confident in making films, uh, you know, within the studio system that actually challenge the audience. And I lo I've always loved that he's presupposed a level of intelligence with the audience. He always knows that the audience are smart enough to go with him, and he never patronizes an audience. Or never he's never prescriptive or didactic in his movies. They're always kind of a challenge to you and you, you need to go you need to work you know but the, re the, the reward you get for the work is is terrific and uh, I, I've learned s so so much from him you know if it's it's kind of changed you know it's changed my life uh, my creative and professional life working with Chris and uh, I hope I continue you know there's a universality to it that people connect with it. people understand the themes that are in this movie and you know there's big questions being 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 asked of the audience there's no answers being given which i think is is excellent filmmaking always but you know it's also it, it it's it, it's got it's like it's it's like a thriller it's a, it's a love story it's, to me there's elements of horror in there as well you know for sure um so that just resonates w with an audience and i think the period setting however familiar or, or not you may be with what happened in 45, I think you will just be wrapped up in it. The movie grabs you by the throat, like from the beginning, 
and and like you you just don't take a breath I think from from start to finish really because we are now living in a nuclear age because of what happened then I mean he, he did change the world you know and that and that that event changed the world forever and we were living with the fallout of that ever since you know